Hey y'all, so I'm back trying something that I bought a couple of weeks ago, earlier in the month. I've been looking for some pancake mixes and came across an Instagram keto sister that um, used these. It is from Hawaii. I just bought the one because I don't know how it tastes. Um, I tried buying another keto pancake mix and that was absolutely disgusting. So hopefully I did do a video on this or on pickups that I got from certain places. So just scroll through my intermittent fasting uh, playlist and you'll see all of my, some of my grocery hauls and some of my deliveries that I have. Um, this is made with organic almond flour, organic erythritol, whey protein, cinnamon, and baking powder. It's 122 calories, 12 grams of fat, 91 milligrams of sodium, 1.7 grams carbs, one dietary fiber. So that makes it 0.7 in carbs, very low, and 5 grams of protein. And this is the macros of it. Um, it's no added sugars, it's gluten free, it's made in Maui, it's non-GMO, diabetic friendly, and this is 4 ounces, it makes 10 buttery and decadent hot cakes. I'm going to try it on the waffle, but I'll see. But um, this is what the front looks like. And you do need some stuff to make these that you normally don't need in pancakes. So you need four ounces of cream cheese. This is what I like. Uh, it's organic, it's smooth, um, and it's a good cream cheese. I get it from Sprouts, Nancy's. Um, four eggs, and you need four ounces of the cream cheese, so it's measured out. And um, oh, eggs. some vanilla flavor, this is homemade. I gotta put some more vanilla beans in here and then your butter. So I'm gonna mix this up and I'll be back. My mix here, I'm used to like the thick mix, but I let it sit for about 10 plus minutes. So I'm about to put some in the pan and then I got my little dash maker I'm gonna try as well. So we'll see how this turns out. Hello, so I'm back with this review of these uh, hot cakes, these Maui Keto Treats buttercream hotcakes and it's a big no for me my son said they taste okay they just need more sugar which I agree they edible you do need more sugar in it I did put some coconut sugar in it but it, it didn't do no justice then I put some on uh, monk fruit sugar in it and I still don't think it did, did no justice but so I wouldn't buy these again I still continue to buy the um the paleo banana I did mix that into this batch that was a little bit left and they taste um a lot better i use the dash waffle maker nice little waffle maker we just can't put a lot of batter in it or it will spill over but none of my stuff my batter didn't stick to it i did spray it every couple of waffles um, but it probably really didn't need much. Here's my air fryer chicken. The breast and everything is good. And then I got my drink, my Sands Pellegrino. So this is dinner. My son said that, you know, he tasted the hot cakes without the um, paleo banana um, pancake mix. And then he said it was okay. Again, I'm probably repeating myself, but... It just needed some sugar, so he just put syrup on, <laughs> on them, and it made quite a bit of them. I like them better in the waffle maker than it did in the pancake. As a pancake, um, they just was very thin, uh, so I fixed the first couple on the cast iron flat griddle, and then I did the rest of them in the dash waffle maker. So the Dash Waffle Maker gets a thumbs up. I'm going to get a couple more of them. I think they got a four waffle um, maker. So I might look at that. But I'll see. Anyway, I'm going ahead and eat my food before it gets cold. 
and I'm, I'm out of here and I'll see y'all later. Peace. My air fryer chicken. Delicious and crispy. Hello there. Today is Tuesday. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up on your way in. So I'm making chili tonight. And I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to add this lamb in. I just want to try to play around with chili recipes um, and see how it tastes. So I'm doing one pound of uh, ground beef. This is Wagyu, American Wagyu, I believe. And this is uh, lamb. I got this from Sprouts, some ground lamb. So I'm going to mix these together. I got um, like a half of an onion in here, one whole red pepper. I got my diced tomatoes, my bone broth, beef bone broth, some uh, celery, and then my tomato sauce. Rayals is actually a good a good tomato sauce. It's low carb, um, and you know I don't have to add much to it, so I do like it. And that's what a lot of the keto low carb people use. And then I'm gonna try this cornbread. We shall see what it tastes like and if I wasted my money or not. So, I'll um, put you back on as I cook. Hey, hey, it is Tuesday night and I'm eating dinner. It is 10.23, so I made a pot of chili with some Wagyu ground beef and some lamb. I have some cheddar cheese in here, a little sour cream, and I have two ounces of avocado. And this is all I'm going to eat. I actually didn't make the um, cornbread because I didn't have any milk. And the milk that I had, it wasn't good. We really don't drink milk in here. I normally just use it for my eggs and coffee. But... Um, I use nut pot for my coffee now and half and half for my eggs. So, this is my chili. So, I'm going to say my prayers and I'm going to tell y'all how it tastes. It's good. It's a nice balance. You can taste the, the lamb, the ground lamb, but it doesn't overpower the beef. So, it's good. It's, it was a success. So I'm going to eat my food and I'm going to get with y'all tomorrow. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're not. Peace.